Guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jasper Ackman. So this is the second video of JavaScript, and we're going to be looking at using inner HTML today, which will return um, HTML content of a particular element. Okay, so we're going to be using identifiers to identify a particular um, element within our HTML. Okay, and what we're going to be hopefully hoping to return is the first name and second name. So let's get started. So just to remind you guys, JavaScript allows you to add interactivity to your website. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be displaying your first name and second name based on what's been entered um, into a variable. So please check out the first video if you've not seen that. And let's get started with this um, task. So let's create um, in a body tag um, a heading. And a heading can be um, student details. Okay, so H1 refers to heading one. Notice um, this is the opening tag and this is a closing tag. So this is part of the HTML. Okay, underneath here, we're going to create a, a couple of more tags and this will be used to display the first name and second name. So let me just do that really quickly. Um, but we don't have any information yet. We don't know the people's first name, second name until they have entered that information. So we're going to be using inner HTML to retrieve that information. So what we can do to connect this um, to the variables is to we can make an identifier. So this will be called um, ID equals FN, short for first name. And in this tag, we can identify it as um, second name, so SN or surname. If I preview what we have so far, so let me save and preview you will see we just have the heading one details shown and the heading two details are not being shown because we don't have anything to show yet. But hopefully with the scripting, we will get some information. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a couple of variables. Um, so let me just first of all type in script. And we are going to prompt the user to enter some values into the variables. So it's going to be first name. So F underscore name, just to shorten that variable name. And we want the user to enter the data so they will be prompted. So it displays a dialogue um, with a message prompting the user to input some text. Okay, open the brackets. And then what message do you want to display? So we want them to enter their first name. So we can write, um, please, enter your first name so what we have is a variable and the user will be prompted they re will read this instruction here and they will write in their first name which will be stored in f underscore name what i'm going to do now is i'm going to just duplicate this but change this variable to second name or s name and please enter your second name or surname whatever you want to do if I save and preview this to go to Google Chrome, it's seen here we've got the message. So enter your first name, enter your second name, but still that information is not being displayed. So what we need to now do is use the inner HTML property to link to this identifier to output the contents of this variable here. So what we need to do is we need to write a document dot get element by id and which id are we going to whoops and which id we're we going to refer to first it's going to be the first name so in speech marks and um, we need to use whoops in a html to return some content and what we need to do is it's going to be equals to the variable name so equals um, f underscore name and I'm just going to copy this because we want to get the second name as well. So what we need to change is the identifier here. So it's going to refer to this one instead. Okay, so if I highlight this, you can see it's referring to this. And we want to output the second name variable now in its place. Okay, so let's see what happens now. So let's go to save and go to preview. First name, second name, 
Uh, and you can see we have the details displayed here. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create another identifier. So this time it's going to be a par paragraph tag. And this might be used maybe just to include some information about a topic. Okay. And this time it's not going to be, we're not going to be entering any information um, using a variable. Um, I'm just going to just write here document dot get element by ID. Which ID do we want to refer to? We want to refer to topic uh, dot inner HTML to return the content of an element. And this time, what we're going to do is equals, and in speech marks, we're going to write this uh, content um, or the topic. So what can we write? Yeah, this website is about Java script. So this is now going to be displayed in a space here, hopefully. Let's click on save. Let's go to my browser. Enter first name, enter second name. And you can see in H1, we've got student details. H2, heading two, Yasa, the first name, Ahmed, the second name. And then the content has come from here. Okay, just before we move on, what we can do as well is we can format um, this information as well. So if I just click underneath here and type, I'm just going to copy and paste this, actually. And I'm going to delete this part here. So for the first name, what we want to do is maybe change the color. So if I type in here style dot color, and make sure you type it in American um, spelling equals red. Okay. And we can do the same thing for the second name as well, but let's change it maybe to another color just for this example. So style dot color equals uh, green. Okay, let's see what happens. And we can see we've got some format in here. So first name's red, second name's green. And what we can also do is we can uh, set um, font sizes, um, font styles as well, font family. So this is linking back to the presentation layer. So for my first name, what I'm going to do is, I'm not gonna do it for all of it, but I'll just show you what we can do for some elements. And this will be use, useful, especially when we do selection if statements later on style doc um, font family let me just like this okay equals um let's just make this aerial and let's make the font size um a certain size And you can see if I just zoom out a little bit, you've got some different options here. Oh, it's not. Oh, there we go. Yeah, font size equals, and I'm just going to put, uh, let's put 35. Save. Oh, I'll put both names down. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, that does look a bit bigger. Um, let me just make it really bigger. Um, may have to put pixels down. Let me just put 65 here. Just want to make it obvious. Or maybe yeah, I might have to put it into speech marks. Um, let me double check. So A, B, it's not changing. So what I'm going to do is put into speech marks, PX. That's my first name. Um, yeah, you can see that's increased in size. 
Right guys, so that was um, a quick video on using um, inner HTML um, to return um, contents of an element which was identified using ID. Okay, and each ID has a specific name. You can see ID equals FN, short for uh, first name, which is obviously linked here. Okay, guys, try and experiment, see what else you can do uh, with this, and please join me in the next video. Thank you for your time. Please like and share, drop your comments below, and please subscribe to this channel as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.